let me catch you up on last week's episode where we went to Barma and within first five minutes of being away with Lee and his family, he had to pull us out from being involved. We did plenty of cooking and I take you on a tour of their Joko caravan. Lee was nice enough to show us how to use a chainsaw and gave us some tips. We did plenty more cooking and Lee whipped up the best American chili you'll ever see on the campfire. It was awesome. We also gave archery a go for the very first time, but were we good at it? Well, that's for you to decide, maybe not. And we got our brand new projector out, which we got to watch Melbourne Storm on the side of our van. How cool. Good morning, Twyla. Mm. And good morning, Adam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So this is our, how many days have we been here now? Oh, it's me looking real in the morning. So we got here Friday <laughs> night and it's now, it's now Sunday morning mm. and um, we're going to have showers because we haven't had a shower since we've been away. Well, that sounds so, really bad. What do you mean? It well, bad. we didn't have a shower yesterday, just simply. That was it. Oh, yo, I yeah. know that, but I'm just yeah. saying. That's Because it. we're free camping, <laughs> so we don't have enough water to be having showers every day. Mm. But, um, yeah, so if you go up. So if I go spin around here and just show you our tank monitor. So we've only used one bit, so we actually do have a fair bit of water. We haven't used much. But then again, Kristen and Lee have been doing a lot of the dishes and um, we haven't had to do the dishes. <laughs> and so we haven't used much of our water. So anyway, all right, well, the hot water is on. I've switched it on and um, I have our showers before getting out and starting our day. So why Adam is having his shower, I thought I'd crack open our new percolator. Check this out. Now, there has been a few people that have been watching our channel lately who have had a bit to say about us having instant coffee. Well, Paul, here it is. We finally got something to make us some real coffee on the road. So we're going to give this a bell and see how it goes. Look at the colour. I love it too. Black. So um, this is meant to make nine cups, but um, I'm thinking it'll make Adam and me one. And that's about it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put this on and uh, see how it goes. Adam, I've got the new percolator on, cooking. Did you just have a shower? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Was it good? It's lukewarm. Yeah. Oh, is we running out of gas? No, no, no. I don't think I'll wait long enough. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, without showing too much, there <sighs> down here we have a switch, and that turns the hot water on um, once the gas is turned on. So, but Adam obviously was impatient yeah. and uh, ended up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. my turn next. But I'll, I'll have me coffee first. It's nearly and ready. Have a, and you have a warmer as well. So. Yes, it will be. I'll get dry now. Okay. So why the coffee is on and Adam's getting ready, Lee has shown me his jacket. Now, if you remember a few episodes ago, we went shopping for winter gear and we saw these jackets. I don't know if it was this brand, but this is a, um, a AEG brand. They're heated jackets, so they keep warm, and especially with my, I suffer from arthritis. So stuff like this, having heat on me, um, works out really good. So I was debating to get one of these. The ones we saw were about $200. Um, and yeah, so you basically put them on, uh, zip it up. Let's see if I can do that simple instruction, like so. And then it has a battery pack here. This one has got, uh, Lee's gonna put a really big battery in it. You can get smaller ones. Um, so this will last quite a while. And then you can see here, it's got the little emblem there. So that's what you press. And when that's red, it's working so I can feel that already because it's been on for a little while in my back and um, I can't kind of feel it in the front is there come. yeah so yeah as it warms up there'll be some in the front in the back which is definitely where I need it and um, yeah so definitely something you could invest in if you're looking to keep warm in um, winter anyway this coffee's nearly ready check it out
<laughs> so what do you think? It's better than an instant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what do you say to Paul? Um, <laughs> thanks for pushing us over the edge. <laughs> yeah, finally getting a proper coffee. Yeah, finally. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Sun's out. <laughs> yeah. Now that was a good shower. <laughs> Adam's had his shower, I've had mine. We're gonna get ready and then we're gonna go cook some breakfast. I'll tell you, that coffee was so good. We'll be definitely doing that all the time from now on. Now I'm feeling totally refreshed. Why I've been having a shower. These guys are setting up to have a bit of a, hi, a uh, bit of a jaffle off. Look at this. We've got uh, three jaffa lines, double jaffa lines, in warming up ready to make our breakfast oh yum i can't wait to the dogs today. there we go it's finally gonna fall oh that bed is buttered so what top you making now dean I'm doing a salami. So I'm going to fold that in. So I don't lose it. How many pieces do you reckon, Lee? I reckon heaps. <laughs> as many as you can fit on there. Mm. Oh, I think that's good. A packet it's of loaded. salami. Fully loaded. Pack it in. And we've even got some spaghetti for later. Adam's favourite. Mm. Fold that in. And we're just using the good old no name. This mount's so good. Don't go the expensive stuff for this. You need this kind of cheese. Whack that on. And Lee was just saying that when you fold it over, one of the big reasons why it cuts off the excess is when you squash it down, this sometimes cooks and seals it together and you can't open up your jaffle. So you get your knife. <coughs> I'm not the best at this. There we go and just cut off that excess like so try to be a bit more neater than i am and there you go that is now ready to go onto the fire oh, let's see how they turned out oh look at that how good does that look whoa <laughs> Perfect. Well, they're ready. Check this out. How good are these? Nothing better than a jaffle. This is the second time we've had them in the last few weeks when we've been away. So good. Slimy cheese, baby. So we're on our way, hopefully, to see Brumbies. Now, this place is well known for Brumbies in the National Park. Um, Twyla is in the car, but she's staying in the car, but she's not coming out with us. Because um, the dogs aren't allowed to win there. I'm pretty sure they're not. Um, and yeah, so we're heading there now in Lee's Fall Drive. As you can see, it is very bumpy. This road is very chopped up. It's a bit insane, hey, Lee? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, chopped up, definitely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, now, last time you were here, you saw Brumbies, didn't you? Yeah, I've seen it a couple of times here. A few times? Yeah. Yep. And what's the actual national park called? Do you know? Barber National Forest. Barber National Forest. Oh, yeah. there you go. All right. I might turn the camera around so I can show you some of this while we're driving through. It's absolutely insane. Mind you, that's in two-wheel drive, so... <laughs> oh! 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 Four drive. And away we go.
So we've just left Kristen and Twyla outside the car and we're about to go into the actual national park. So dogs aren't allowed to in here as you can see. So we're just gonna go, Adam, I, Lee, ready to go? I'm ready to go. Yes. Let's hopefully we see these horses. So where are we now, Adam? Uh, so the farm uh, are yes, muster yards. They've yep. been used for 140, and they still use now, I'm not sure, but 140 <laughs> odd years um, with the grazing of the cattle in the region. In the river, uh, river red gum forests. Oh yeah. And the Murray River. Yeah, and they look really cool, don't they? Mm. Look how green the grass is. We must be getting closer to those horses, surely. We need to see at least one. We can see the horse droppings everywhere, so we're getting close. Yeah, oh, look, there's some there, but they're probably the people that live around here. But, um, yeah, so this is the musty yards. We've made a swap. Lee's now in the back, and we got Adam in the front. He's going to give this a go. He's never driven a four-wheel drive before, Limit. and you know he doesn't normally drive our van. Um, but we are in an auto, so there's no reason. And I'm closing the window. Okay, <laughs> all right. I'm moving the seat forward. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here we go. Oh my god. Okay. Come on, you can do it. Yep, let's go. And this is what and that is about. it, isn't it? Yep. I'm marking this here over the dash. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Now, before I go ahead, Lee, any tips? What should I be aiming for here? Go for any rut you want. Just go. go just do it. it. Let's go. And you just have to cruise through. You don't have to go too much, too hard. So I'm just thinking you can accelerate it on that seat. Out of Can't. Drive. Handbrake. Handbrake. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, okay. Handbrake. Go for the biggest one. Oh, my here God. <laughs> Uh, here we go. I like this guy. I'm a... oh. Oh. Doing well, Adam. Doing well. Doing well. Yeah, okay, <laughs> hold on. Woo! Okay. Did it. Oh, oh, you're going to get real adventurous now. Just watch out for the trees, Adam. Oh, can, I, can I slide out? <laughs> <laughs> Just watch this tree over here, please. Okay. <laughs> oh, overconfident. <laughs> there you go. Okay, well, last little puddle. Very good. Okay. Well done, cool. Adam. Okay, we're going to buy good a job. four wheel drive next. All right, sounds yeah. good. You heard that here, peoples. Right. I'm hopping in now. It's my turn to see how I can control this piece. Let's go. After all that excitement, we've pulled over. We found bones, a whole heap of them strewed everywhere. Look at this. So it's either one of the horses that died, and um, and over time, it's look at this, a whole heap of them, big bones. There's a spine, the ribs. Check that out. It's huge. I don't know. It looks like horse bones, but. Who knows, I'm not a <laughs> scientist. Look, there's more. That looks like a tailbone. Wow, this is incredible. Oof. Things you find. All right, back to the car we go. Looking a bit muddy. So I'm a bit <laughs> just a little excited. I think we finally found some Grumbies. Grumbies? Grumbies. And um, yeah, we're just going to over really slowly and we're going to get out and see if we can kind of well not sneak up on them but kind of sneak up on them here, up here, and here, um up here. all right pull up here and we'll get out and have a look
got to see horses. Sorry, you didn't did miss ya? <laughs> Yeah, did ya? Oh, wow. Say hi, Daddy. Yes, you're allowed to back in this part. Say hello. You weren't allowed yes. to in there. Yes. All right, get in <laughs> and we'll take you home. That was pretty magical, seeing those horses and just going for that drive was awesome. Something that we can't normally do in our van, so it was good that Lee had his full drive here and we could go do that. And we even got to drive it, how cool was that? And um, now we're just down at the pub, so we're at the um, Obama Hotel, um, well, Hotel Motel. motel. Um, you can come here, you can buy alcohol here, you can have some beer here, you can eat. Um, also, they've got toilets across the road, so if you are camping and you want to go to the toilet, so we're having a toilet run. And I just wanted to say, there's a caravan park here too, so if you want to check that out, if um, you don't have a four-wheel drive and you just want to come in your uh, camper van and just have a bit more of a chill time, not so much four-wheel driving, um, you can stay in this caravan, which is literally you can walk down to where we are um, staying. It'll probably take it 15, 20 minutes. But um, yeah, so that's all here. Cause it's having a bit of a sook. Um, but yeah, so it is a really cool spot and to have all this here, and there is a, um, a convenience store just up the road as well. So it's good to note as well. Anyway, I'll go film the sign of the caravan park so you know which one to book if you do come here. But otherwise, this is great. So Adam just picked up some drinks for tonight. What are you drinking tonight, Adam? Vodka cruise. I thought you were going to get a beer. I was going to, and I couldn't. I couldn't see any multi. I couldn't see multi packs. Oh, okay. It was single bottles. And I'm like, you know what? Give me a full pack. It's just um. Yeah. It's just easier. And it's butchering it right up today. Yeah, he is really butchering it up. Butchering it right up. <laughs> <laughs> just rocked up to the uh, local store, which this is their menu. So if you're looking for some lunch or even some dinner, I think they're open for dinner as well. You can come pick some stuff up to here. And um, we've got pieces from four o'clock by the looks of it. And they've got everything you need here from fishing stuff to camping, your gas if you need it, a burner. So you can come here if you need some supplies too. Found a tree to cut down. Well, it's fallen down already. So we're back now. We've got plenty of firewood for night. We're all sweet. Plus Lee cut up the rest just to leave there. We've told a few people to go grab some. People have been looking for some wood, but they don't have a chainsaw like Lee's. Nor do we. We just have our little one, which have we haven't got out yet. But we might give that a crack in the morning just so Lee can show me how to use it. But anyway, I thought we'd get out our fire pit. Um, now, even though we've got our big fire, I want to light that up. I've still got to do another curing of it. So we're not going to put a big fire in it, but we're going to give it one more um, little fire in it just to get it all cured, ready to go so we can use it in the future and do a massive fire in it. So that's our fire pit that we got. You would have seen a couple of weeks ago from the pit kit. These guys were amazing and they did such a good job in creating our fire pit. So anyway, we're going to get that out now, put it together, and then we're going to start getting some dinner ready. So Lee's just teaching Adam how to cut with a splitter. 
both had a bit of a lesson today. Yeah, hands up, hands up. Well, at least it stood up once. <laughs> That's a different way to cut wood. <laughs> Watch where my hands go. All right, ready? Oh, we just lost some to the side there, but that was really good. Now, Adam to attempt again. I feel like I'm at the Olympics. Now, Adam's going in with his. What are they called? Splitter. Ooh. That was good, Bart. I think that was good. Yeah, that was good. That was perfect Awesome. <laughs> All right, well, it's that time of the night. We've got to get dinner on before the sun gets down, goes down, but we might eat it a bit later once the sauce is cooked. But tonight I'm cooking my favourite. It is Calabrese. It's going to be good, I tell you. I'm looking forward to this one. Yeah, well, you better be because I'm cooking it and it's going to be damn good. Anyway, so what goes in this? Well, I'll look, take you through that now and show you. But I tell you, this is one of my favourites and it's going to be so good around a campfire. All right, first I'm just going to chuck in my oil. Just chuck a bit of that in there. And then we're gonna throw in some onion, like that. All right, got my spoon, I'm ready to go. Now, um, I've already chucked my onion in, and now I'm gonna throw in my garlic. So I'm gonna throw that in there, like so. Give that a mix around. Let that brown up a little bit before we chuck in the treat, so and brown that off as well. All right, that's starting to brown slowly, but we're gonna chuck in our treat, so now. Use any type of treat so you want, hot, spicy, whatever you want. Just chuck it in. Nice, thick pieces, especially when you cook it in a uh, camp oven. You want it nice and thick, not little pieces. All right, now that they're starting to look a bit translucent, I think that's the word. Mm -hmm. We're going to throw in our red and green capsicum. Give that a mix around. Let that cook for a little bit longer with no lid on. And then we're going to start adding in all our sauces that's cool all right let's that sit for a minute now that's starting to look good we're just going to add all our different sauces so first we've just got a can of uh crushed tomatoes just chuck that in you can give that a rinse out with a bit of water too now a bottle of sauce thank you mother for the rabbits and then we're just going to chuck in our tomato paste which i've just got one of those sachets just squeeze that in there Get it all in. Beautiful. All right. And then we're going to throw in our olives. Now, these are just pipped um, olives. Oh, God. You can make a mess here. And I'm just going to pour that in. And Adam has kindly passed me some water. I'm just going to add that in to clean out that jar. And that is that. Now, all we have to do... Let's put our herbs in, which I've got a bit of a mixed bag that I've brought along. Oops, <laughs> making a mess now. So in this, I've just got some oregano, some chili. You can see it here, oregano, chili, parsley, or you can buy, you can cheat a bit. Oh, shit, that's a bit. <laughs> um, you can cheat and buy the Italian herbs. It works just as good. And this is going to be a cracker meal. Now, one thing you definitely have to put in your red sauce is some red wine. So let's pour that in and then we're all done. Awesome. We'll have a look at how it's going. Look at that. This is perfect. Pretty much ready. So we're just going cook the uh, pasta and then we'll uh, get it happening. Is Dozer being a bad boy? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a first. Watching our episode on the side of the van at 5pm on a Sunday. Now, if you watch our channel all the time, you know that every Sunday our new episode comes out. So we just get to do this. Watch a episode about the fire pit. Why we've got the fire pit actually burning. How cool is that?
Well, actually, we've got two fires burning. How cool is that even? <laughs> All right, well, let's go sit down and watch the episode. All right, these guys are chucking on the pasta. You ready, Adam? Yep. In goes the pasta. We're doing this on the back of Lee's car. It's, it's not overly windy, but there's a little bit of wind. So get the pasta on. We're just cooking that on this. And Kristen's going to do the stirring. <laughs> That's what I'm good at. Got the hard job, Kristen. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the kids are still watching... YouTube, we've got some film clips happening now. Look at our King Dino Adventures fire pit happening. It looks so good. And uh, Lee's over there having a drink. Hi, oh. hi. And um, yeah, we've got YouTube film clips on. How cool is that? We finished watching our episode. But check out the pit. Look how cool this looks. Just seen all it up with the logo. How awesome. So cool. And if we come around this side, You'll see our logo. How good's that look? Adam is dishing up. Mm -hmm. I've got a few bowls already. So he's going to dish up and then Adam likes to always put his uh, parmesan cheese on top of the pasta. And then we put the sauce on top of that. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, on goes the parmesan. This is real camp cooking the back of the car. You can still see some of the um, sawdust. The sawdust, yeah. <laughs> but all right, there's no sawdust in the pasta. We're all good. Mm -mm. All right, the sauce is off the fire. And um, Adam's just dishing them all up now. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. yours, Nat. Thank you. That's okay. Natalie's. Jared. And we've got some of our favourite tunes happening. Hey, Natalie. Yeah. <laughs> well, there we have it. The Calabrese pasta in front of the fire. And everyone, what do we all think? Awesome. Thumbs up. Yep. Yep, we're loving it. So, let's go and enjoy. Cheers, guys. Good morning, we're up. Everyone's up except for the kids. They're all still asleep. And um, even Twyla is sitting there like a good girl. Anyway, we are about to cook some breakfast. We're going to be doing some breakfast wraps. Now, a few episodes ago, we attempted to do this, but we didn't have everything. Have we got everything, Lee, this we time? We do. We do? Okay, cool. So Lee's going to show us the proper way to make breakfast wraps. Yummo. But um, this coffee, I tell ya, yum. So the first thing Lee's cooking is his hamburgers. They're just the cheapy old hamburgers. You just chuck them on there. And he's got the coals underneath, as you can see. And they're cooking away. How good they look.
time to put this baby together. So what do we do firstly? We hit it with the sauce, the old barbecue. Yep. Then nice. Dose is helping out too. Get the hamburgers in there. Yep. Oh, double banger. Double banger. Yep. Hash brown. Get the carbs in there. Beautiful. And the next. Next. We've got the eggs. Yes. And to top it off, the bacon. Sweet. And wrap it up like a baby. Just like that. Check this out, guys. This is incredible. This is nothing like me, what me and Adam made. So this is the proper way how to make your breakfast wraps. Now, it's time for a taste test. Pretty good, Lee. Well done. What do you think, Adam? Yep. These are good cook. <laughs> Better than me. <laughs> At times. <laughs> All right. As you know, a few episodes ago, we brought one of these guys. Now, we have not even christened it. And I thought, what a perfect time to christen it while we've got Lee to watch over us with guidance because uh, it is a bit scary doing this for the first time. So, um, yeah, he's going to quickly run over how to set it up for the first time. And then we're going to get into it and have a bit of fun. So as you might already know from our last episode, this is an electric, so it's not petrol like the one Lee uses, but you still have to use oil in it, yeah, Lee? That's right. You need chain bar oil. Yep. Um, keep it nice and lubed so then it doesn't tighten up. Yeah. The, the metal will get hot and stretch your chain, so you always keep well maintenance and oil yep. in it at all times. Okay. The oil just goes in the side. Yep. And these one little bottles, the one litre bottles are pretty handy, aren't they? Very handy. Very handy indeed. And then it comes with a little nozzle that comes out of it to make it so it doesn't get all messy. Especially if you're putting something in your van, you don't want it having stuff everywhere. And if, you, if you're if you only going to use it a little bit, don't fill the oil right up. right up. Because Just do it as when you they go. sit there, the oil will come out while it's sitting there. So you'll get oil everywhere. Yep. So just fill up to what you need, what you think you need. Yep. Couple of bike riders come and pass. Safety feature, the chain brake. Most important thing on the chain, on the chainsaw. That's engaged, so that chain will not spin. That's disengaged, so that chain will spin freely when you're using it. Right. And what that does, if it kick back. So if this all kicks back at you, yep. your wrist will hit it and it'll ah, stop the chain straight away. That makes sense. So that's yep. what it is. So that's the chain brake. Right. Now, I've never used one of these before. Oh, this could be interesting. So this might be, yeah, very interesting. So, yep, got the battery so, in. Chainsaw the hand break off. Ooh. <laughs> Sounds like a um, very loud steak knife, electric steak knife, eh? It does. Look <laughs> like I can carve up my briskets when I smoke some meat. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, now, is the chain, with the chain, um, how do we know the tension on that? Yeah, so the rule of thumb is, if you pull the, the chain up, if you can see three of the, the um, guide teeth, yep. if you can see an air gap between them, that's fine. Perfect. All right, well, do you want to give it a whirl and then I'll have a go? All right, let's see what it does. So you cannot hit dirt or rock or anything with this chain. If you hit rock, dirt, it's going to blunt this chain and it's you might as well throw it out. No, not throw it out. You can sharpen it. <laughs> but another thing too, if you if you dull your chain off, yes, always sharpen it or put another chain back on it, because if you're using a saw that's blunt, you're going to destroy it. Okay. All right. So you just keep it nice and sharp at all times. And yes. a, a, a good trick is when you're cutting down on a piece of wood, yes, put the handle on the ground. Yep. And you, as you can see, there's, it doesn't touch the ground. Uh huh. Yep. So that's how you want to do it. Don't don't, ever don't put go the into nose into the ground. Correct. Put the the handle into the ground. Great advice. All right, see. So. All right, I'll come around this side and watch a cut for the first time. Nice.
there you have it. First bit of wood cut, done. Now we can start collecting for firewood next time we go camping. <laughs> So the last thing we're doing today before leaving is Jared is filling in the fire after we've poured some water on it from the river. And now he's just going to grab this excess dirt that Lee took out of the pit when we got here. And um, Jared's just putting it back. Thanks, Jared. in front of us and we're hoping that we don't get bogged on the way out. It should be fine, it's pretty dry the um, last couple of days so it's yeah, cleared it up. It doesn't look as bad now compared to what it did. Alright, this is where we got bogged so let's try not to do it again. Here we go. Woohoo! Got through it. So we're heading home now, but we're going to be passing through Shepparton. Uh, I've got 30 odd k's to go. Um, but we're lucky enough to get one of these through Big Fall, where we stayed at one of their cabins. So they had a uh, like a welcome pack and um, yeah, free dog wash. So now that's why it smells like smoke. After a few days, we're going to get her a wash on the way home. So she's fresh for the week ahead. So it's time for Twyla to have her wash. She's getting ready. She's wagging her tail at the moment. I don't think she's gonna wag it for long, but she's gonna be a nice clean puppy. We're gonna get all that smoke out of your hair, aren't we, baby girl? Yes. So thanks, Pet Stock, for our free dog wash. Ooh. Get scared. They do an apron that's here. Oh, that's better. Yes, all right, give her a rinse. Here she goes. First bath wash at Pet Stock. <laughs> oh, baby girl. Nice Just turned it to rinse. Now it's rinse time, Twyla. How's she going? Twyla's all nice and clean now. We're going to take for a quick walk and we'll grab another towel and give her another dry off. So she'll be nice and warm on the way home. One way to dry a dog, have a walk to BCS. Well guys, that's it for another adventure. Thank you so much for joining us for the last two episodes. It's been so much fun. And thank you to Lee, Kristen and the kids for jo joining us on these episodes. Now make sure you tune in next week at five as per usual on a Sunday to check out our next episode. Yeah. Otherwise, Adam. And don't forget always, yeah, like and subscribe guys and share the channel and help us grow. All right, we'll see you next week guys. Ciao. Bye.